What's up guys, it's Aaron, and today I'm going to be covering the basics on rounding corners. By now, if you've been watching these tutorials, you'll probably find that building things in SketchUp is pretty straightforward if you stick to simple geometric shapes, squares in particular. But you might find yourself now and then wanting to make a rounded shape or a rounded corner, for instance a sphere or a bottle, maybe even a pipe. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do all of those things. So let's start with the sphere. Now it's not particularly easy to go about making a sphere inside SketchUp natively without something called a plugin. Some plugins are free, some you have to pay for, but they're all basically just a couple of lines of Ruby script that make doing something easier than it was before. Um, the one in particular you're going to need for making a sphere is called Round Corner. Now it's free and uh, the icons look like this. You can download it online. If you're curious as to how to go about installing plugins, you can just pull up your uh, Google folder, which depending on if you're Mac or PC will be in your programs. So you can go to your Google folder and Google SketchUp and then your plugins folder. So as you can see round corner, all I did was extract the folder and copy and paste it into my, uh, into my plugins folder. And then when you open SketchUp, it should show up automatically. So once you have the plugin copied, you can just go view toolbars and then go down to this section where you can toggle their tool palettes on and off. So we already have our round corner toolbar set up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a cube. So I'll just take my rectangle tool and I'll make a two by two uh, square. And to make it a perfect cube, I'll pull it up too as well. So now I have a perfect cube. Now thanks to the plugin, all I have to do to round the corners on this cube to make it into a sphere is this, I'll triple click it, and I'll go to this one here, as you can see it's a round corner, and I'll get this uh, toolbar that pops up. I'll, click, I'll change my offset here, and the offset is uh, 3 inches, and the offset will bring in this green line equally in all distances from the red and orange lines. So because it's uh, a 2 inch cube, I'll put in 1 inch as my offset. Now the green lines will disappear because they meet evenly, but if I select say 0.5 inches, you can see that the offset comes in this far, and if I hit the check mark over here, it will round the corners like that, sort of giving me a cubish shape. If I triple click my object and soften the corners, you can see that it becomes a very nice round object. So I close that and undo, triple click my object again, round corners go back to here and I'll hit one inch and hit OK and just like that I have a perfect sphere. I'll triple click and soften my edges again. Job done. Now there's a couple other plugins that will make a sphere for you but uh, I find round corners is the most useful because you can not only just make spheres with it but you can also do a bunch of other cool things. So we have our sphere but what if you wanted to go about making a bottle or glass or something like that? Well all you have to do is I'm going to take my circle tool and I'm going to choose a hundred sides just so I have a very round object. I'll go to here and I'll draw a line back in immediately across to my center and up. doesn't matter how far up just needs to be separated from this a little bit and make sure that this bottom face is one piece. You don't want it split across the middle. It needs to be a single face. And now I'm going to just draw. So I'll draw straight out here. And um, let's make a wine glass. Be pretty, uh, pretty good example. So just for starters, it doesn't matter how big this circle is. It just needs to be a circle shape. And we'll go up here, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to draw half of the glass from, if you were to uh, cut a wine glass in half, and then what would half of that look like. So I'll just, I'll just show you. So now you can see that I have my uh, wine glass shape, and it doesn't look like much right now. 
Uh, and another tip is uh, when you're doing this shape is to keep it fairly simple because the next step won't work particularly great. Uh, but what you want to use is the follow me tool. So you don't need any plugins for this. All you have to do is select the surface you want your object to wrap, which is of course in a circle direction, in a circle shape. And we'll just select the follow me tool and then select the surface you want to wrap. And it looks like it's unselecting it, but don't worry about that. We'll just click our wine glass shape here, wait a few seconds. And now you can see that it, uh, it wraps that very basic wine glass shape around in 360 degrees. So we get this really nice uh, wine glass shape. Now of course you can delete the rest of that stuff now and triple click your object or uh, highlight it all and smooth your surfaces. And we'll go up to here, soften all that. And you'll find that sometimes you'll notice that uh, a couple of uh, lines didn't actually join properly and that's because the uh, the model was a bit too detailed when you tried to wrap it so for now it's fine but uh, if you do encounter instances where that happens that's because um, like I said your your uh, silhouette or your shape was too detailed um, but that's basically how you can go about making uh, shapes like that and if you go about optimizing them in the right ways you can make pretty sophisticated uh, shapes you wanted to make this, uh, I'll just highlight all this, go to my materials, let's paint this a color for now that I can edit, I'll bring the hue over to a bluish hue, change the opacity. You also notice now that uh, it doesn't really look transparent, but that's because, as I said in previous tutorials, the inside face didn't actually change color, so we'll just go into here and we'll highlight, highlight it all again and we'll hit the paint bucket tool and we'll paint on the inside of the glass there like that, the same thing for the base as well so now you have a cool wine glass so the next application for rounding corners follows the same principle that the uh, wine glass used. So let's make a pipe this time. So what you're going to want to do now is of course take a circle tool again and we'll draw a line into the middle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw just a basic shape. Uh, draw a line up here and here, up and around. Not following any particular order, but if this, this will of course uh, show you that you can use this method for just about any application that you need. I'll draw a couple of lines here, that's not a very rounded corner. I like that, I guess. Get rid of that one. This of course can be used for making handles, or if you want to make uh, piping systems inside houses or basically any reason you need to have a rounded pipe for your model. So there we have our basic uh, pipe layout. Now all you have to do in order to actually make a pipe follow this is simply take your follow me tool, just click your, your face and drag it up and follow the line. Simple as that. Now you can imagine trying to make a pipe this sophisticated without uh, this method would take forever but all you have to do is the uh, same sort of principle as a push-pull tool and that's all you have to do to make a really sophisticated pipe. I'll just smooth my my faces again just like that we have a really pretty, pretty ridiculous uh, pipe shape. So that just about does it for this tutorial uh, as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, you can make some pretty sophisticated objects to use in your model. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys.